Welcome back to another moving vlog. Today is couch delivery day. Probably the delivery that I have been like most anticipating because honey, we are going from this three seater couch that was in the apartment to a massive L sectional. The thought of like being able to put my feet up is amazing. So that's happening today along with some other house things. I'm still kind of getting settled. I feel like for the most part, we're all moved in, but I feel like there's just a lot of random organization and things I still need to do to make it feel homey. Still got some projects that I wanna get done. Pretty much once the couch comes, the only thing that we're waiting for are the bar stools that will go right here. But yeah, I feel like couch day, couch delivery day is always my favorite kind of day. Part of me is slightly scared just because every time that I went in the store, to look at the couch. It looked a little bit different color wise. So I honestly have no idea what color it's gonna look like in this lighting. Cause I feel like store lighting is so weird and different, but I'm sure it'll work out. It has to because it's arriving today, whether it works or not. Also hoping that it fits in the space. <laughs> is right there. I don't want the back of the couch facing you when you first walk in, if that makes sense. I have these two accent chairs. So when you first walk in, you see like this, and then you'll see the couch. On today's to-do list, I really want to get the third bedroom cleaned out and organized, just because right now it's kind of become a dumping ground for all my moving stuff and I want it to just feel functional in there. I think that room is gonna end up becoming some sort of like filming studio getting ready place, which sounds so fancy, but I feel like I'd get the most use out of that bedroom that way because initially we were like, okay, do we make it a guest bedroom? What do we do? And I was like, honestly, I feel like if it were to just be a dedicated guest bedroom, it would get used like, I don't know, once a month, twice a month. And I felt like if I had the space, I might as well make it a productive space for me. And so I really wanna make it a cool filming room, a filming spot, maybe have Micah build me a vanity so I can get ready in there and just have that be like a creative space. Plus, if that room is used for work, I can write it off. So it's good for tax purposes. <laughs> I do still wanna have a comfy place for people to stay when they visit though. So I think in the office where I just put the living room couch. I think we're gonna end up getting a sofa bed at some point. Micah comes home tomorrow for his four days off from work, which I'm so excited about. I definitely miss him a lot just because, I don't know, I wanna do all these things with him, but it'll be really exciting to kind of start on some of the house projects that we've been wanting to start on. I feel like you either like pickles or you're a hater. Like there's no in between. Like there's no one that's like, what you know about these ones? I love this brand. Let me know if you start getting tired of the home hauls because I have some more. <gasps> yes. I really, truly hope I got the right size, but I bought cabinet poles, handles. You can see right now that they're chrome. Not my favorite for me. I've always really loved and gravitated towards a matte black. Hopefully, hopefully this fits, like. Yes, she fits. That's gonna be a project that Micah and I do together because there's so many. I think he counted every single cabinet pull in this place and there's like 73 or something. Ooh, got a key ring holder to hang our keys on and some other little like knickknacks, I don't know. This is for the curtain in the bathroom. I don't think the curtain comes until tomorrow, but this is to just hold them back. They're like curtain holds. We've got a toilet paper roll holder, so exciting. I have been so excited. Emily Henry came out with a new book, Funny Story. I've been waiting to get this. 
it pains me. I feel like I haven't had, well, I haven't been making time to read. So I'm very excited to get back into reading again. And I'm really, really excited to get into this one. Yay. I got more coasters for the dining table. These ones are pretty cute and they absorb water comes with a little holder and then i got three of these smart light switches so basically i can control certain lights from my phone which is really cool that is my home haul lots of random like home improvement things wreck a bowl wait what are we doing first okay you're saying nine feet this way yeah it's and like this way yeah that's like <laughs> no yeah like we can like Fold it out here and then lift you it. You are and show three it. feet long. No, I know, but the extra three feet, like, <laughs> or technically four. I think it's fine. I'm like nervous for you to see this rug. Wait, is it? And I'm nervous to see it myself. Ah, wait, stop! Don't look. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna switch it. Wait, wait. I went with a very colorful rug. Oh no. No, it's like colorful. It's not. It's green. It's like a green. Oh, I like that. Why do I? Why am I nervous? I like want you to turn around. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know if it's <laughs> ugly or not. Just open it. Wait, I think we need to see it open. Because it, it's, what it's giving me right now is like grandma's house. So like, it's character. Wait, you should have it facing this way though. Well, wait, wait. I did deliver with the color. No, actually, it's cute. It could be, I that just, that's distracting no, me. That needs, I'm gonna, no, that's done. No, actually, it, it matches your the pastel. <laughs> I, I just want like, I needed something green in here. It has character, I like it. Okay, mine goes up to here. I think I have more than you. Wait. <laughs> Girl, I'm mad. Oh, oh my god! god. Maybe okay. pull it just a little though. You? You. Me. There, okay. perfect. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god. <gasps> my Cute! Head. Okay, green sleigh. No, I like the blues. Okay, Pegasus. <laughs> Wait, I kind of like it. That's what I'm saying. It actually looks good like But it's that. like the crooked lamp. Like, <laughs> bro. I have some of my pillows ready to put on the new couch when it comes, which I think is gonna be here any minute. I feel like I don't know proper couch pillow decorating etiquette, so I've been looking it up online, how to decorate a couch, like an L sectional. All I know is I'm gonna need more pillows than this. I also have these ones, which you might have seen in my last haul, but these are the vibe together, so we'll see. Y'all, I am so unwell. <laughs> it is so big. <laughs> And I need to move this. <laughs> um, I have a monster couch. Okay, let's do a sit test. This is awesome. I just scotch guarded the entire couch. So hoping that this works. What I like about this though, is that everything is basically a separate piece. So it's all like removable. And then all of these are removable. So you can throw them in the wash, which is really nice. I think it looks so good in the room. It definitely takes up a lot more space than I thought it was going to, but I love it. I feel like it makes it so cozy in here. I'm so happy to have a couch that I can like properly lay on. <sighs> this is amazing. I love it here. We're adding some color to the bathroom. I got some curtains to hang also because at night you can kind of like see the shadows. That makes me very uncomfortable. So it's dual, dual purpose. This is so pretty. Well, I'm gonna try to put it up my zoo. I love it. Yes. 
Okay, the painting project's about to begin. We got the final looks at our bedroom before we paint the whole wall literally green. I'm so excited. We're getting all set up here. We're gonna do all the prep work. We moved all the furniture and then we'll get started. Okay, are you ready for this? progress so far. She's looking good. Our bed broke. <laughs> we were taking it apart because it's so heavy. It's really hard to move. And it came apart. I'm so sad. So now there's no after shot for this room. I guess this is the closest. This is the closest. The wall is green. The wall looks great. I have a broken bed. <laughs> Save the comments. Another day, another home project. We are painting the living room wall today. This brown color, which I'm so excited about. We have been wanting to paint this wall a dark color just to add some dimension to the room because there's just a lot of like whitish gray walls here. So we're adding some color, adding some depth, and I'm so excited. Hope it looks good. <laughs> waiting for the paint to dry to do the second coat. And in the meantime, we're gonna do a project that we have been dying to do ever since we got the house. We wanna change all of the cabinet poles to a mat. Are you ever laughing? Since, ever since we got the house two weeks ago. What is that? Ever since we got the house two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was not real. We don't fight. Micah keeps making fun of me because I say, since we've got the house, like yes, I know we just got it, but something about like Chrome just sends me and I am really excited to change all the poles to black. We're not gonna do like the sink or the door handles right now just because that's not what we're focusing on, but I feel like doing the cabinet handles will make a really big difference. It looks so good in here. I've always loved the matte black kitchen accents and the bathroom for the finishes. I just think it looks so nice. I'm really, really happy we did that. Initially, I wasn't going to just because it was really expensive. And I mean, it wasn't like completely necessary to do this because we already had perfectly functioning ones. But we'll probably sell those on Facebook Marketplace or something. But I found this huge value pack of these on Amazon. So instead of like Home Depot or Lowe's where it was more expensive, it actually wasn't too bad. It's so fun to watch this space become more personalized. The wall in the back looks so good. I'm so happy that we're doing all these little projects. The house is becoming a home. It looks so good. If you watched my organization video, you know I've been dying to do this. I bought the spice bottles that are all matching with the labels. Honestly, this is probably so extra and a little bit unnecessary, but I feel like it'll make the spice cabinet look a lot more clean and organized, so I'm excited to do it. That project is done. I'm really happy with how that looks, even though like there was really not that much reason to do it, but 
I like it, so that's what matters. I really like this like pack that I got because it came with so many different seasoning labels and different colors, so it's perfect. I simply can't get over how good the painted brown wall looks. Everything's finally coming together. 